Hello. In our lesson for today, we are going to learn solving equations with variable on both sides. Remember that equations are identities between two expressions. So, any equation, it looks like two expressions, it's a comparison in fact. And between them, equal sign, which means the value of the left expression, it is equals with the value from the right. As long we have expressions in both of the sides, remember that expression, first of all, we have to simplify it. That we can get the simplest form of it. So, before we are going to isolate the variable, we check the expressions. Each one, the expression left, it has to be in simplest form, and the expression right of equals, it has to be in simplest form too. After, we will isolate the variable using the inverse of the given operation. Let's see. What is the value of x in the equation shown? So, all we have to do is to solve the equation. From left to right, I'll write it again. We have 3x minus 10 plus 4x equals negative 2, x minus 4 plus 9. So, the equal sign, left of it expression, and right of the equal, we have an expression too. So, first of all, we check the expressions to be in the simplest form. So, we have to simplify them. We'll start with the expression left of equals. We will collect the like terms. We have x term here and here. 3x plus 4x, 7x. Negative 10 is constant. We don't have another one, so we keep it for the moment. We go into the right side of the equal sign. We see bracket. To remove the bracket, use the distributive property of multiplication. Negative 2 times x, it is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 4, it's a positive 8 plus 9. The expression in the right side of equals, we have to simplify it. So, 7x minus 10, we keep it, it's in simplest form. Negative 2x. In the expression does not exist a like term with it. And we have like terms, 8 and 9, which are constant terms. And positive 8 plus 9, it's positive 17. So in this way, we got the simplest form. We collect now the x terms from left and right of the expression. In general, in general we will move the term which has a less value. So we have here 7x and we have here negative 2x. Less, it's the negative 2x. So this one, I'm going to take it from the right side of the equality into the right side using the inverse of the given operation. It's a negative 2 and the inverse is a positive 2x. We do it on both of the sides to balance the equation. And we will find. 7x plus 2x, 9x minus 10, equals 17. Now, x term, it's only in the left side, but I have the constant next to it. So, the constant, I will move it on the other side, next to the other constant. It's a negative 10, and the inverse is a plus 10. Do it on both of the sides. So, 9x equals 17 plus 10, it's a 27. The last that we have to do to, keep to, to isolate the x, to keep it alone, it's the factor 9. As long here it is written times 9, the inverse of times is divide, so we'll divide by 9 on both of the sides. It will be at the end x equals to 3, which is the solution of this equation. Let's try more. 1 over 2, open bracket, n minus 4, minus 7, equals negative 2, n plus 6. Before I will start isolating the variable, I simply see that one of the terms here, it's a fraction. 
Me, I do not like to keep working with fractions. So to make the fraction disappear, I think about what can I do to make the denominator to remove this denominator. So it is divided by 2. The inverse of divided by 2, it is times 2. And we will do the times 2 for every single term in this identity. So we will do times 2 for the, for the first term times 2 for the second, and times 2, and times 2. As we said, whatever is done for one term, it has to be done for all of them. 1 over 2 times 2, this 2, it will be out. The coefficient left is 1, and we do not have to write it. So we will write n minus 4, minus 7, sorry. So n minus 4, minus 7 times 2, 14, equals negative 2 times 2, it's a negative 4n, plus 6 times 2, 12. Now we'll check the both sides of the equals expressions to be in simplest form. We take the left side. Negative 4, it's like term with negative 14, so we can combine them. It will be n negative 4 minus 14, it is negative 18 equals the right side it is in simplest form because negative 4n and 12 they are not like terms so we keep it as it is and we will write negative 4n plus 12 we have n term left and right of the equal sign the small one we will give it to the big one the n has coefficient 1 and the negative 4 and the coefficient is negative 4, where negative 4, it is less than 1. So the inverse of negative 4, it will be plus 4n. We do it one side, we do it on the other side. We go down and we simplify from left to right. n plus 4n, it is 5n. Minus 18 equals to 12. Underline the variable term. To isolate the variable, now we have to, first of all, we have to remove the constant negative 18. The inverse of negative 18, it is plus 18. And do it on both of the sides. It will be 5n equals 12 by, plus 18, it is equals to 30. And between 5 and n, it is times. We look for n only, so over 5. Over 5 on both of the sides, it will be n equals to 6, which is the solution of this equation. Let's try more. Solve the equation. 100 x minus 0 0.2 equals negative 10 5z or 5x, I use the x plus 0 0.8. So equal sign, left of equals expression, right of equals expression. According with order of operations, first of all, we have to remove the bracket. The operation between 100 and the bracket, it is times. So then we will distribute 100 times x, it is 100x minus 100 times 0 0.2, it is 20, equals, we'll do the same thing on the right side, and negative 10 times 5, it's a negative 50x, negative times positive is negative, and 10 times 0 0.8, it is 8. The left side of equals, it's in simplest form. Right side of equals, it's in simplest form. And now we'll collect the x terms. We have x term 100x in left of equals. And we have the negative 50x in right of equals. Negative 50, it is less than 100. So then we will remove the negative 50. Under it, the opposite, plus 50x. Plus 50 x. 100 plus 50, it's 150x. Minus 20 equals negative 8. The x term, 
we will underline it. So negative 20, it does not contain the x, and it's a constant. Negative 8, it's a constant. The negative 20 will give it to negative n by using the inverse of it. If it is negative 20, we'll put down plus 20 and plus 20 on both of the sides. From left to right, we have 150x equals negative 8 plus 20 equals to 12 over 150 over 150 we can simplify by 3 and it will be 4 over 50 we can also simplify by 2 and it will be 2 to 25 so x solution is 2 over 25 Let's try more. A triangle shown is isosceles. Remember that isosceles triangle, it has two sides congruent, which implies the angle from the base congruent. So triangle, it is give isosceles. The length of the three sides, they are given in the figure. And the two congruent sides, also they are given. From here, we can write the equation. 5n minus 17 equals 2n minus 1. The left side expression, it's in simplest form. And the expression in the right side, it's simplest form too. We collect the variable terms. And the small one will give it to the big one. 2, it is less than 5. So the inverse of 2n, it is negative 2n. And we'll do it on both of the sides. 5n minus 2n, it's 3n. Minus 17 equals to negative 1. The variable term, plus 17 and plus 17. Uh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. It's a plus one here. Okay. So it will be 3n equals 1 plus 17. It's 18 over 3 over 3. We found that n equals to 6. If we know the variable, the value of the variable, now we can go back into the triangle and find the length of each side and after at the end calculate the perimeter. Let's see. So n equals 6, we will substitute in each expression given. It will be 5n, n is 6, minus 17 equals 30 minus 17, it is 13. So as long this side, it is given congruent, this one, and we found here 13, it's supposed the other one to be 13 too. Let's check. 2 n6 plus 1 equals 13. So my calculus, they were correct. I will take the last one, the base, which is n, so it's 6. If we know the value of each side, then we can calculate the perimeter. Remember that the perimeter of the polygon, it's the total distance around the polygon. So all we have to do is to add the three sides, 13, plus 13 and plus 6. It will be equals 13, 13, 26, plus 6 equals 32 units centimeter. So this represents the perimeter. So the perimeter is the sum of the length of all sides. 2, 4x minus 3, minus 8, equals to 4 plus 2x. So we check the expressions left and right of the equal sign. We see here bracket, and according with order of operations, brackets, we have to remove them first. The operation between 2 and bracket is a time, so we are going to use the distributive property of multiplication. 2 times 4x, it is 8x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 
minus a equals 4 plus 2x. We take the left side, x, it's only one term in x, the like terms, negative 6 and negative 8, so we can, we collected them, now we are going to combine them. It will be 8x minus 14. equals 4 plus 2x. Underline the x terms. The coefficient 2, it is less than 8, so then we are going to move the 2x. Under 2x, the opposite of it, negative 2x. And we do it in the side. 8 minus 14 equals 4. So the x term, this is what we have to isolate. Under negative 14, the opposite of it, which is positive 14. So negative 14 plus 14, it will be 0. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So 6, 6 equals 4 plus 14, 18. The last we have to do over 6, over 6. So x equals to 3. Let's try more. 1 plus 7x minus 6, negative 7 minus x equals to 36. Remember that the negative in front of a value, like for example negative 2, so the negative sign, it came from factor negative 1 times 2. So negative 1 times 2 in simplest form, it is negative 2. If I have negative m, the negative in front of m, it came from factor negative 1 times m. So remember where you have a negative in front of a value, the negative sign, it came from factor negative 1. So keep this in your mind and let's see. Negative, between the negative and the negative, there is the height at times. And we said that negative sign, it came from factor negative 1. To remove the bracket, we have to distribute. So negative 1, negative 1 times positive 1 is positive 1. And negative 1 times 7 is a negative 7 each. Now we have one more bracket. Again, between this negative 6 and bracket, it is times, and we have to distribute. Take care, the vector we have to distribute is negative 6 and not a 6 positive. It's very important. So first of all, let's decide the sign. Negative times negative, positive. 6 times 7, 42. Negative times negative, positive. And 6 times x, it's a 6x. Six six. Equals to 36. The expression left of equals, get it into the simplest form. We start from the first term. Negative 1, it's a constant, so go right and look for other constant, like term with it, and we have it here. Negative 1 plus 42, it is 41. The term in x is negative 7x plus 6x. So negative 7 plus x, it's negative 1. Negative 1x, it means negative x, equals 36. Here we have the x term, and this is what we look for, x only. So the inverse of positive 41, it's a negative 41 on both of the sides. We'll get at the end that negative x equals 36 minus 41, it will be negative 5. As we said, the negative in front of the variable, uh, of front of the value, it came from factor negative 1. So you will draw the line between negative 1 and negative equals negative 5. So we will divide, simplify by it. And it will be x equals to 5. Solution.